All right, guys, so welcome back to Comageddon. Here we have our toy review, and our toy review is going to be of the uh, Blackest Night Green Lantern figures. So Blackest Night was a storyline uh, from the DC Comics where uh, a supervillain by the known name as uh, Black Hand brought back a lot of the supervillains and superheroes and their loved ones back from the dead to battle and suck out all the light in the universe. Of course, DC Select made some really cool action figures based on this line. These figures are really cool. They have some awesome detail. You can see the veins in here. The colors are really bright and shiny. Uh, the various characters, I have five of them here for you. One of which, I love this figure, the way he looks. It's uh, the uh, Blackest Night Superman. Um, so here we go. He's trying to eat the <laughs> little button over here. So, but if you look really closely, I mean, this detail is pretty cool. His face looks sort of sunk in. Um, you can't tell maybe, but there's some uh, uh, like translucent red in his mouth. So um, the figures, as cool as they were, had some drawbacks. One of which I'm going to say is, like the Superman, as cool as he looks, he's pretty much stuck in that pose. Um, they have some articulation. Uh, his head is able to move from right to left. There's a little, you can move it slightly up and down. Um, I like his cape. It doesn't really hinder anything as far as uh, posability goes, but this particular Superman doesn't have much posability. If you can get him to stand, that's pretty much the pose he's in. So, but we got the arms that move up and down. Uh, they bend at the uh, elbow joints. Uh, they have wrist swivel. No, sw no swivel or bends at the waist. We have legs that move up and down, bend at the knee, and of course, swivel as well. Um, of course, some of my favorites, Green Lantern. All right, now this Green Lantern is really cool as far as color goes because he's this one of the shiniest and brightest. We got a nice little green shiny paint job, nice little pearl-esque uh, paint job here for the white, and the ring is very bright and uh, vibrant, so... Uh, again, you have your basic articulation. You got uh, the head, which can move from right to left. It go up and down a little bit, but not a whole lot. He's not going to get a lot of looking up poses. Uh, his arms do move out. Uh, they can also move up and down, swivel at the wrist, and bend at the at the elbow. There's no swivel, um, like over here, but there is swivel at the bicep. So uh, no ab crunch or waist twist. The legs do go up and down, bend at the knee, and the joints are really tight too. And they do, of course, twist at the calf. So, um, a lot of them, some of them even came with some really cool uh, um, accessories. A uh, problem I've seen with some of these, however, is take this lantern, for instance, does not want to stay in its place. There we go. But if you see even close up here, even the lantern has some translucent plastic. So it looks like there's energy inside, which is pretty cool. Um, pretty much all the lanterns had that. They just kind of got repainted a bit. Um, here we, and of course they even had like bases that came with them so they can easily stand on them. Um, here's one of my favorites, Lar Fleas. Lar Fleas was the orange lantern. I'm going to bring him out because he came with some of the coolest accessories. Uh, he has the same, pretty much the same articulation as everybody else's arms move out. Uh, they move up and down. Again, the joints are very tight on these guys. Bends at the elbow. No twist, no um, articulation at the bicep. Uh, but we do have the wrist. Uh, legs do go up and down. Bend at the knee. But no calf twist. So the articulation on Lord Fleas is very minimal. Uh, his head does twist from side to side. And it is on a slight ball joint, so it can go slightly up and down. But not a whole lot. Um, and again, he came with a stand and some really cool accessories, such as the regular lantern. Can't be a green lantern or an orange lantern or a blue lantern without a battery. But he came with another accessory which serves as an extra articulated action figure. Was it? Globulus. Globulus, his legs don't, it do move. 
they twist from side to side. Well, at least two of them do anyway. Um, of course, there's not really any head to turn, but the arms do move up and down. So that's a nice cool little added action figure there. So there you go, my friends. We have the Blackest Night action figure uh, toy line. Um, these have been out for quite a few years, so they're, pre they're pretty much, you're not going to find them in stores. Unless you go to like a comic book store or a collector store that has them still on the shelf, like um, they just didn't sell. Uh, but you can easily find these on places like eBay and Amazon. They can get pretty pricey, depending on the action figure you're looking for. Um, Black Hand here, for instance, you may actually be able to find him uh, fairly cheap. Wasn't that popular of a character, cause even though he was, in fact, one of the main characters of the storyline. Um, if you're going to look... <clears throat> the figure itself is actually pretty cool, even though he's not a popular character. He is still pretty cool. He's got the dead hand. He does it. And then again, the look veins. at the articulation on here. So we do have the veins. And he does have this cape, which is a very flexible, very rubbery cape. So that doesn't going to get in the way of any articulation. Uh, head move it, movement right to left. Uh, ball joint goes up and down slightly. Uh, arms do go out. And what is the stickiness? Oh, no. <laughs> it goes up and down. Uh, there's no twist at the bicep. There's twist at the wrist. Legs go up and down. No twist at the here. Twist at the um, kneecap, though. So, again, articulation is pretty cool. So, and of course, we have Saint Walker, which has pretty much the same articulation. And look at the paint job very shiny, almost brand new, straight out of the package. And. Does it? No. No, it looks like it does, but. <laughs> as, as I was just telling John. St. Walker's little uh, headpiece here. It does not turn. It looks like it's supposed <laughs> to turn, but it does not turn. And uh, when you do, it doesn't really it, it's in, it doesn't really get in the way of head movement. You can only move it from so far left and so far right. You're not going to be able to turn it all the way around. Um, his head's not on a ball joint, so it, there is no up and down movement on it. Uh, no ab crunch. Uh, no wrist swivel. Um, Bends at the elbow, breaks at the elbow. I'm gonna stop bringing my toys in here. <laughs> breaks at the elbow. <laughs> it looks like it. There's a pin right there. Yeah. It can go back in. It is repairable. This one is repairable. <laughs> Gotta pop the pin out a bit and pop it back in. We will get that fixed. Um, John just will not rest till he breaks all of my toys. So, as a side note, uh, with the Saint Walker. Be careful about the articulation because all I did was move his elbow up and it snapped right off. So it does look like it should be able to pop back in. So anyway, uh, those are the Blackest Knife figures. Uh, pretty cool line if you're just looking for some figures on your shelf. Um, not really meant for play, but definitely pose, you know, poseability. Um, again, you can probably get these on like eBay, depending on the figure, like Superman, Dark Hand. You can probably get Black those fairly hand. Black Hand. You can probably get those fairly cheap. Characters like Lar Fleas, Hal Jordan, those are going to be a little pricey. Wonder Woman, I believe, is even a little pricey. So, but good luck, and we'll be back. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Maybe put a comment below and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to head on over to our Facebook page. Links are in the description below.